Hey, you guys, it's Raya from Raya's Tie-Dye. Magic Fly actually got a hold of me so I could try out their 30 set of fabric paint. Um, I am actually really impressed with this paint. I've done a couple of shirts just to try it out. And it comes obviously with 30 different colors. There's instructions on the back and all the specs, such as the 2.03 ounce bottles. Um, same colors, there's metallic colors, regular colors, neon colors, which is awesome. So we're gonna open this up. There is some cardboard. The packaging is super nice. It's nice, sturdy cardboard. And there's the 30 colors, very nicely packaged. Uh, this kit also comes with a three pack of brushes, fabric paint brushes with Magic Fly on the side of them. All right, now we're gonna get into the colors. Now, these colors are really good for a 30 set. Uh, regular colors like red, orange, green, but then they also have neon colors, which is pretty awesome. I love neon myself, so the neon green is really nice. The uh, neon pink is awesome. And then they have metallic colors. So there's a bronze, a gold, a silver. There's even a metallic purple. So they really give you a range of colors that actually gives you a lot of choices when you're trying to come up with something on your fabric art. Now every bottle is sealed, which is awesome. I love that. That's just another protective layer so that you don't have to open your box and have paint all over the place. Now this is a card that they do include inside of the box. It's a VIP program that they have if you're interested in something like that. All right, you guys, so the projects coming up are super awesome and super fun. I actually came up with them on my own and designed them myself. I am really excited to show you what they look like and how they turned out and then show you how awesome these paints actually turned out to be. So let's get started on that right now. <laughs> All right, so this is actually a customer order. They definitely wanted a hand painted skull, so I wanted to make it look really cute at first. But then after I thought about it and I actually put the outline on, I was like, nah, I probably ought to make it a little more realistic looking. So I was kind of playing with it at this point, but right now I'm just putting the first coat on. So for the first coat, that looks super good, but this is two coats of white. Now you can still, still see the tie-dye behind it, but if you use three coats, it probably, you would not be able to see the tie-dye underneath it. Now I'm using black and black is the darkest color that comes in this kit and it works really, really well. And it actually works really well for any kind of shading or shadowing that I was putting in the skull. So as you can see right here, that's the only thing I used was black for all of that. Now, as you can see, the opacity of these paints are amazing, especially for the white. Now, if you've ever used Tula fabric paint, it could, does not compare to the Magic Fly paints at all. If you, you try to use white, it does not even look like anything honestly it just looks really clear so i am very impressed with the opacity all right so this is duralar and duralar is just like a stencil uh, plastic, I guess is what you would call it. So I didn't have any cardboard. <laughs> so the copper cone, I, the reason why I call it the copper cone is because I have a Chewini named Copper. He's the cutest thing ever. So I wanted to make him into an ice cream cone. And so I'm going in with white paint. I'm just doing one coat for all of it. I do go back and do the top white and you will see the difference in a minute. Um, and then I'm going to go in with purple, which I mixed with white. It was neon purple with white mix. Uh, I did have to mix a couple of colors to get the type of color that I wanted, which I also did with the brown. And 
Right now I'm just making it look all drippy like an ice cream cone and filling in the cherry. So this brown, those are the colors that I used to make this color and I actually love the way that this color turned out. So I'm gonna fill in this waffle cone real quick and we'll keep going. All right, so now we're going in with some shading. We gotta make it a look a little shadowy where the ice cream is starting to melt. And we need to create the waffle texture. All right, now I decided that I really wanted to make it look like chocolate sauce that's dripping all over his head because I'm sure if Copper could eat all the chocolate in the world, he definitely would. So that's what that is. And then of course we have to go into the face and make all the really cute details in the face. And what dog does not eat his own ice cream if he had ice cream, he's gotta have a tongue. So while I'm doing the last little bit of details here, these Magic Fly paints can actually be used on paper, wood, glass, and the Amazon listing actually says you can use it on your walls too. Um, so after you're all done with your project, it says to wash it inside out after it has dried already. So here's my little copper cone. He is super duper cute. I'll be putting the link in the description box below where you can find these paints. They run about $36.99 and they are totally worth it. This turned out awesome. Thank you so much, Magic Fly. I love them. And thank you guys so much for watching. Happy tie-dyeing. <laughs>